So introducing the anatomy of the ear. So the ear is divided into three components. So we have the external ear, which includes the pinna, the external ear canal, as well as the start of the tympanic membrane. Uh, the middle ear, which is basically the area between the tympanic membrane to the oval window, including parts of the eustachian uh, canal, and the inner ear, which is the neural side of the conduction pathway, which starts at the oval window and includes the cochlea as well as the cochlear nerve and the vestibular nerve as well. So we'll start from the beginning. So we have the pinna, which kind of captures uh, the waves, the sound waves as they travel through the air and conducts it through the external ear canal towards the tympanic membrane. Uh, so uh, again, conducts. So uh, conductive hearing loss can include obstruction of the external ear, conduct, ear canal, which would uh, prevent the vibration, the sound vibration of traveling through this area. So as the sound waves hit the tympanic membrane, they cause the tympanic membrane to uh, vibrate as well, uh, similarly to the sound waves in the air. So they start to so the tympanic membrane starts to vibrate. So this vibration is picked up by the malleus and conducted to the incus, then the stapes towards the oval window. Uh, so the purpose of these ossicles is to amplify the sound. Uh, so to pick up the frequency, the amplitude of the sound and maintaining the same frequency, but amplify the sound uh, so that it continues to propagate further. Uh, so here again, we have the eustachian tube, and this is where inflammation or uh, having too much fluid build up in, the, uh, in this area can dampen the quality of the sound and make it more difficult to hear. Uh, so once the oval window begins to vibrate, so the stapes and the incus and the malleus have vibrated uh, and uh, conducted the uh, frequency of the sound wave, the, the vibration is traveling through the oval window. And here is where this vibration is going to be carried through the cochlea, where this vibration is going to be captured by the bending of the hair cells, which will zero in on this uh, in this next section. Uh, but basically, this information will then be picked up by the cochlear nerve, which will exit along with the vestibular nerve. Uh, so as you can see here, the vestibular nerves uh, innervate the semicircular canals, which are responsible for rotation uh, and balance. 